watching Jumanji. My skin is super, super oily because I just applied my skincare stuff. Um, so that way when we come home, I can just go straight to bed. But yeah, we're finally watching Jumanji. just received some things in the mail. This box is from Mecca. All these items are actually Christmas gifts. The people I'm gifting it to, they're currently overseas. So um, yeah, I got their one a little bit later than usual, but I'll give it to them when they come back home to New Zealand. But the first one is the Evlom, the Radiant Ritual. So I've tried Evlom's cleanser and I am so in love with it, but it's so, so pricey. So I thought this was a really nice gift set to give. And then I got two of the Tatcha Gold Lip Balm. But yeah, this is the lip balm. This was $50 for a lip balm. I just thought it was a really pretty gift. I mean, I wouldn't buy this for myself because it's so expensive. But as a gift, it's really, really nice. So yeah, I'm going to put that back. And I'm going to wrap these up and give it to them when they come back to New Zealand. And then I also received a postcard. I love receiving postcards. I think they are just so old school and so cute and so thoughtful. I love these stamps. So this one is from Seoul, Korea. This is from the, is it the Namsan Tower? Oh no, this is the Seoul Tower. So pretty. So I actually received another Christmas gift today even though I just uploaded my first vlog. But my sister-in-law, she got me another Hourglass Advantage Stick Foundation and she even got it in my shade Sand. If you guys watch my best of 2017 video or any of my videos, you know that this is my holy grail foundation and I was like running really, really low on it. And she restocked me on my shade. The reason why I didn't repurchase this foundation yet is because this foundation foundation is like $90 and it's like, you know, quite expensive. So I'm so happy that she actually got me this. Like, it's so thoughtful. Hello, hello. So today we are going to head up to Auckland. It is our day off today. So I thought I would bring you guys along with us. Um, I want to quickly show you guys my outfit before we leave. So for my necklace, I am wearing the same Gemini necklace that I have been always wearing from Urban Outfitters. And then this silk cami is from Zara. I did get this a while ago. The the front is like kind of like a silky chiffon material and then the back is just like a cotton and then these shorts are from misguided i also got them a while ago but yeah that is my outfit <laughs> having pho again i got the beef pho he got the chicken pho summer rolls i will always add a lot of hot sauce they don't add energy. Ah, noodles. What a good meal. Picked up some Momo tea. I got the peach nata. Not a really big fan of Momo tea, but yeah. This was just Kosa. What did you get? Taro. Oh. Taro milk tea. Ran, say hi. Go on. Say hi. This is how I'm spending my New Year's Eve. I am just going through my makeup drawer because tomorrow I'm going to film a dated room tour. But yeah, I'm just going to get some rid of my makeup. I'm just going to put some away for my nieces because they, you know, are growing a little bit older. They're starting to get into makeup. So I'm just going to give them some of my palettes and just like stuff that I don't even use, you know. I don't even talk about these in videos anymore. And they're just not necessary. I just don't like them. Them. For one reason or another, I just don't grab them, so yeah. Happy New Year's guys! Happy 2018! I just got finished filming, so I finished filming two videos. I did demo, I did a demo on this eye look. It's for the e.l.f. Mad for Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I'm gonna film the full review tomorrow, but this is demo two. And then I also just finished filming a room tour. A lot of you guys have requested for a room tour video, so just finished filming that, explaining how I displayed everything and where everything is 
from now for the purpose of this vlog i am going to show you what's on my phone a couple of you guys have asked me how i edit my instagram photos i don't do a lot now that you can screen record on iphone and you don't need another app i thought i would take advantage of this new feature and show you guys how i edit my stuff on my phone so this is my photography folder on my phone the first app that i have is of course facetune so let's go ahead and pick out a photo when i pick out a photo i will click maximum size i'm not really sure what the two difference is but i just use maximum size so the first thing i like to do is go into the detail tool and i will go over my eyeshadows especially if there's glitters um if there's a cut crease it just makes everything appear more vibrant and true to what it looks like in person i will also go over on my highlighter as well just to bring it up a little bit if i have lip gloss i'll go over my lips just where i want more detail in my makeup look where it's a little bit lacking this is where i will use the detail to to help me out and then i will go in with the smoothing tool so if i have acne or if my skin is just not good that day i'll just lightly tap over it and i think the key to facetune is just tapping over where you want it not dragging it because once you drag it it looks very very fake you want to just really lightly tap it and sometimes I like to cover up my lash band if the glue is a little bit um, white I think when you take photos it does reflect off the light and it appears not black so I will use the what is it called the tones tool and just use the black shade and go over my lash line once again you want to just tap on it and not drag it and that way there will be no lash glue showing up in your photos so that is pretty much all I do on Facetune. Let's go ahead to the next app, which is Pick Frame. This is the collage app that I use. I mainly use it just for my thumbnails. This is the one that I use a lot, the two side by side. Other than that, I don't really use it for my IG pictures, mainly just for thumbnails. And then I have Visco Cam. I will go and open up that photo or a similar photo and the only thing I do on visco cam is the grain the grain effect so um, it's right at the end I will bring it up to 1.5 or maybe 2 it just depends you don't want to bring it up too high but I can't explain to you what this grain filter does but it does something and it makes your photos look really really nice a lot of people use visco cam for this grain filter as well so I actually like to do most of my editing on Instagram itself so I will open up the photo that we just edited on visco cam and also facetune i like to use the filter aiden and i like to bring it to sometimes 10 15 or 20 it just depends on the lighting of the photo itself and then i will go into edit i will turn the brightness up most of the time usually to 20 honestly again it just depends on you know the photo condition i will sometimes turn up the contrast or turn it down i actually like to turn my contrast down on my photos on my makeup selfies about to 10 as for the warmth i like my photos to be more cool tone rather than warm tone so i will bring it down to about 11 or 10 and then i will go to highlights i like to bring that up to around 10 15 just keeping it in that range and same goes for shadow shadow i like to bring it down to the 20s or 30s um, but yeah, you can see the difference here and that is how I like to edit my Instagram photos and there's not much to it Honestly, it's just turning up the brightness adding some shadow adding some detail nothing too crazy So yeah, that is how I edit my IG photos Happy New Year my baby another year another year of being healthy my healthy girl hmm? good morning guys so i just finished getting ready it's currently 8 45 in the morning i wake up around like 6 30 every morning anyway so yeah i just finished getting ready i'm waiting for the boys to wake up i'm gonna let them sleep in but i just finished scheduling my kathleen light dream collection video for today for today afternoon and then i'm gonna start doing a voiceover for my next video which is a makeup tutorial so I just got a new 
Oops, my car is so dirty. Wow. Just got a new phone case. I love it. It just matches my phone so nicely. This is the brand, Oscar. I don't really know. But look at this. Everything's just all pink. So pretty. So pretty. This was $25. It's the hard case. Covers everything. Pretty good. I'll probably use this for the rest of my life. So I just got done filming. I filmed the demo for this eye look and also the review portion for the e.l.f. Mad for Matte eyeshadow palette. I didn't film for too long. I think I was filming for about 30, 30 minutes. The review portion, that is. Tonight, I am going to head up to Auckland myself. I have to drive an hour by myself. I hate driving alone, like seriously, I hate it so much. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I made it home to my mum's house. I am currently just exporting... I'm just currently exporting a video, a makeup tutorial. I'm gonna get that scheduled for this Friday. I'm gonna do the thumbnail, everything like that. Just finish up the video. Um, that way tomorrow I'm not like leaving things to the last minute. It's just a lot of boring work. Um, not really boring because I do enjoy editing and uploading that kind of stuff. Hey guys, so I am just driving to Animates right now. I'm going to pick up some food for my cat. I'm actually driving my mum's car because my car is kind of like just falling apart. I don't feel safe driving it. So when I can drive someone else's car, I will just drive someone else's car. And I love my mum's car. She drives a Toyota RAV4. It's so smooth and it's such a big car i freaking love this car so much i am currently at a red light that's why i'm not moving right now i'm going to have dinner tonight with my friend i got the kit kats that i showed you guys in my last vlog and we're gonna try them out today if she's okay with being filmed okay we're gonna try the kit kat first one cookies and cream okay cheers Cheers, man! I feel like I've tasted something like this before. It's not that bad. It's so sweet. Yeah, this one's really sweet. What is your favorite Kit Kat? All time, so far. I think the green tea one. Yeah, mine too. It's not that sweet. Mm. Even the other tea one's pretty good, like the Earl Grey or something. I don't know if I try that one then. I did, I tried one, I think one of them. Oh, I didn't try the wasabi ones either. This one's really sweet. Rate it out of 10. Five. Yeah, me too. So this one is maca. Oh, that's strong. You don't taste the coffee? Okay, which one was your favorite? Cookies and cream, caramel, hazelnut, maca. Favorite? I like the maca one. I like the hazelnut and, yeah, probably hazelnut and then caramel. Don't buy it. <laughs> Happy Monday, everyone. So I just finished filming my Zaful haul. I am doing a video with Zaful. I just finished trying on the clothes and just finished the talking portion as well. But yeah, it feels so good to wear makeup again. I literally didn't wear makeup on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And it feels so good. Like, you know when you go without makeup for like a couple of days and then when you wear makeup again, it just... I, I like I feel like myself again, um, but what do you guys think of my foundation? I'm trying the wet and wild photo focus foundation today I think it looks so good on camera like Whoa, it looks really really nice on camera I'm probably not gonna vlog too much today just because I just got so much to catch up on vlogging is not the first thing on my mind But yeah, I just wanted to check in while I had makeup on because I feel like myself again Good morning guys. So we made it up to Auckland last night right now. It is 8 45 I just finished getting ready obviously Harry has his test in about an hour. So I'm gonna wake him up soon Hopefully he passed so we don't need to pay and do this test again. I failed my learners while I failed my restricted three times, but I got my full on the first go. I'm not a bad driver, I swear. I just don't do well under pressure. Then I need to take my brother's dog, Ren, to the groomers. I don't even know where to take dogs to get their hair cut. I need to go find a good place. So that's my job. I need to take an outfit of the day because I didn't get glam for no reason. I am wearing the Soothing Sister merch that I showed you guys the other day. I'm going to bring you guys along. So... I'm gonna wake up Harry now. He passed! He passed! He passed! Yay! Now we just gotta wait a year and a half till full license. Woo! Lunch time. Gotta add my hot sauce. No, there's that. 
Yeah, but I don't want it. I just want sriracha. Barbecue sauce. Can you squeeze a lemon for me? Pretty please. I'll squeeze both. Thanks, baby. So it is currently 7.30 in the morning. I just finished getting ready. I just want to catch up on what I did yesterday. I feel like I'm really, really bad at vlogging, especially when I'm with other people. First off, I don't really pull out my phone to begin with. Like if I get a phone call from someone and I'm with someone else, I won't pick up the phone just because I don't know when you're with someone you don't want to bring out your electronics it's time to be humans and just talk like how we're meant to I, I don't know I just feel like pulling out your phone and stuff is quite rude so that's a habit that I have so now that I want to vlog more and when I'm with other people it's not my first thought to bring out my camera so a lot of times I do forget to bring out my camera I have a couple of things here that I want to share with you guys so this first stuff um, she got me a couple of things when she was overseas which she really didn't have to and very very sweet of her so the first is this little package she got me a bunch of socks I don't know why people always buy me socks when they go to Asia I have so many like these cutesy socks but we got this one I think he's from Spirit Away little Korean girl I don't know what that says I'll have to ask Harry and look at this one this is my favorite one the little cat I love it and then just one with a mustache on it and then she just got me this like cute little cat coin purse and then she got me another Three Concept Eyes Makeup Fixamers. If you guys watch my video, you know I love this stuff. People are just backing me up on my makeup that I love and I appreciate it so much because that means they watch my video and actually listen to what I say. But yeah, that's her gift to me from her trip. So Sonia, if you're watching, thank you. But now I have some packages I received yesterday and I want to open it with you guys. Ah, okay. Yeah, this is the Pony Effect Luca Lipstick. I'm doing a collab with YesStyle. I'm not sure if you have heard of YesStyle, but I used to shop on them all the time. They sent over the Pony Effect Liquid Lipsticks, and I'm going to be doing a video for them. So right now, I'm actually wearing the Pony Effect Favorite Fluid Lip Tints, which I did a video with Mimi Box, and they sent over those away. So I really like the Favorite Fluid Lip Tints. I wear it all the time. Sent over five shades. So this is what it looks like. It looks pretty Pretty similar to the lip tints. Um, oh. Okay. Oh wow, that's pigmented. Wow, I'm so excited to try these out. But that's one of the shades swatched. This one is called On Fleek. So I'm not gonna show all of them to you because I mean I am gonna do a video on them. So yeah, but just know that the video is coming soon and I'm so excited. Okay, and then my next box is from Mecca. I placed an order. If you guys don't live in New Zealand, Australia, Mecca is pretty much like our Sephora. They stock brands like Urban Decay, Too Faced. So the first thing that I picked up is another Mario Badescu facial spray. I picked up the rose one. Currently, I'm using the cucumber one, but I prefer the rose one a little bit better. I just think it smells a lot nicer. Even though I love green tea, I love aloe, I love cucumber, this one just smells so much nicer and I love this facial mist and it's like $18 for this really big bottle so I think it's affordable and it's worth it and then I got one of these Lino Lips Multi Balm so you can use it everywhere pretty much I saw Chloe Morello talk about this and she said she really liked it and then I picked up the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer I am going to do a review on this oh let's see if the shade is I have such a hard time picking out a shade man oh yeah mm-hmm okay that looks pretty good that shade oh I'm so happy. Wow, that's a, that's a really nice shade. I picked up the Born This Way Conceal. I haven't even tried the Born This Way foundation, but I will be doing a review on this. I'm just going to try it out for a couple of weeks. Just got home from work and I received the package from KR Polish. I made an order myself once I knew that they had international shipping now. And look at Kathleen. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, so I picked up five nail polishes. This one is Aquarius. These three are probably like my everyday nail polish color that I'll be wearing. 
Can't wait to try out the formula because but the body shop actually they discontinued their nail polishes now So I didn't know where to find a good nail polish brand that was cruelty free and KL polish is cruelty free This one is I think Taurus. Yep, Taurus Oh, look at these shades. I'm so obsessed. And this one is called Coconut Milk. Then I have two of these more fun shades. This one is called Casalopia. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it has kind of like a dark nail polish and like some that holographic glitters in it. And then I have this purple one, which is called Mozart. I actually wanted to wear this nail polish color in my Luna makeup tutorial, but it didn't come in time because I thought it would be like the perfect nail polish color. But I am going to be doing another like purple-esque cosplay look soon so I'm gonna be wearing this for that video as well but yeah those are the five shades I got I definitely want to get more there are some more that I want to get off her site like caramello central perk stuff like that so yeah I want to get more but this is my collection to start off with just got finished filming I tied my hair back um, but I finished filming my pony effect collab with your style they sent these over like i showed you last time i was testing them out for the past couple of days and then i filmed my review today i just took some b-roll shots and i'm done i'm finished filming now i just gotta edit it and send the draft over hello hello guys today is wednesday happy wednesday i just got finished filming slash getting ready i filmed this eye look this is demo 2 for the yes please palette from colourpop um, I just got one more demo to film for that video and then I can start editing that and getting that uploaded. Does anybody else's cat just... Uh, oh my sweet girl. She always just rolls on the floor. Hmm? Living the good life. Aren't you, baby? Look at these paws. How could anyone want to hurt you? Okay, so I made it to Auckland. I just dropped off my stuff at my mom's house and I'm driving her car. But I am outside the doctors now. I'm just going to head in. My boobs for the past two weeks have been really, really itchy. And I just want to make sure that it's not like breast cancer or anything. I just want to make sure that I'm fine and it's just, it was just itchy or whatever. And I did Google some stuff and some symptoms. Um, but I just want to make sure, just get a doctor's opinion on it. Honestly, it's probably nothing, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. I just want to tell the doctor my symptoms and he can tell me that I can relax and at least I can get some peace of mind. I'm gonna head in now and I'll tell you guys the results. So hopefully everything is fine. I'm sure it's fine. So I'm just overthinking because I'm an overthinker. I'm paranoid about every single little thing. So I'm sure everything will be fine. I'm back in the car two hours later. I didn't get to see the doctor because oh, I can't wait that long. It's just me sitting there doing nothing. Um, but I saw the nurse and she was a lady as well. And yeah, pretty much I think it's fine. She just said usually when you sweat around the boob, it can cause like bacteria to make it itchy and stuff like that. And that's why I also read online. So I think it's just that I was sweating a lot more than usual and it caused my boob to be a little bit more itchier than usual. So I'm not gonna freak over about it. The lady nurse said it herself that it's all good then I think it's fine. Like the symptoms that I told her was just a check. She didn't think it would be anything else. So I'm gonna go to Harry's house now. I'm gonna meet up with his cousin and his brother and I think we're gonna go grab dinner together. 